This dress is a little tight. Oh, can't laugh. Not enough air to the brain. I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. This January, tourists and snowbirds made their annual migration to Southern Florida, along with an even more rare species, the 88 contestants in the 63rd annual Miss Universe pageant. Now, no one has ever accused me of being the beauty pageant type. In eighth grade, I decided to do team sports and became a cheerleader. That's pretty much the closest I've ever come to possibly a pageant. But they invited me and I figured, you know what, why not? Why not go check it out? It can't be every stereotype rolled into one, can it? Something I've never uh, participated in or really known anyone in it. So I'm trying to look at it with fresh eyes. And oh man, did I get an eyeful. Ah! This is like every little girl's super fantasy land. The organizers decided that if I was going to truly understand the Miss Universe experience, I had to look like Miss Universe. I'm a little intimidated, so, Linda. <laughs> you're beautiful, This and we are going to enhance your beauty. And I even got my very own sash. I'm gonna wear this everywhere I go. My life will never be the same. The experience starts with a facial. I kind of feel like I'm at the Westminster uh, dog show. You walk in, you get cleaned, and then you get fluffed and prepped. And then it was time for my brand new face. Is it true that pageant hair is like Texas hair? The higher the hair, the closer to God. Yep, From. I was kind of curious about the male perspective on all of this. You know, all 88 are beautiful. You're representing your country. Even though it's obviously all about inner beauty. <laughs> and saving the world. Don't forget saving the world. It's all about inner beauty, saving the world, and a ton of makeup. Listen, we and appreciate all shapes and sizes here in this universe. Really? Because I'm only seeing one shape <laughs> and one size. Okay, touche. With my hair and face shellacked to perfection, all I needed now was a dress that would make Joan Collins proud. I'm David. David. I can tell we're going to be friends. <laughs> the average height of a Miss Universe contestant is somewhere between Amazonian and Gargantuan. But the trick is in the seven inch heels. It's really, uh, I don't know if you know this, but walking in seven inch heels is like shaving a wet cat. It's fun. <laughs> Nearly impossible. Normally what we do, the girls pick their own gowns. You know what? I'm gonna let you color preferences me. No, no, no. No, I don't. This would be your competition, Shock you get to pick. Me. Let's do a gown because okay. I haven't shaped my legs yet. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm gonna change the ultimate transformation. Cool. Clamp it. This is really difficult. We're good. We're good. It's all good. And so for my final dress, I went with the color that represents New York City. Black. This is like the Lady Olympics. After four hours of nonstop prepping, just take it out. All I wanted was my sweatpants and sneakers. On the next episode of Abroad Abroad, I go from aspiring Miss Universe contestant to asking some of the girls my very own crowdsourced interview questions. Yeah!